He is back on his feet, feeling stronger and ready to pursue his dream of farming. Martin Muntandwa, age 30, has lived with hemophilia from the time he was born, a condition that made him bleed at the slightest accident. Ever since I was, I was young, I used to be in hospital, in and out, in and out. But uh, we thank God there is now a drug which is... Uh, which we are being given. I started with uh, factor eight, but after that, I was actually introduced to a new drug called Mcismab, which I'm now uh, getting every month. And uh, I can say before before that, it was actually quite challenging. Without any drugs, if you have a bleed, then it means you have to be to be bedridden, maybe for a month, two months, without any help. I've seen that in tomato growing there's uh, a good income. So I like uh, uh, come here at the farms, I planted so far 10,000 plants, which you are seeing behind me here. And um, I'm looking forward to, 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 to go big. Maybe I, 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 I can go up to 20,000 maybe every after three months. The joy of seeing improvement of the health of a child who used to spend most of his time crying due to excessive pain is visible in his mother's eyes. Okay. Meanwhile, Hemophilia Foundation of Zambia Chairperson Charity Piketty says there is medication to bring this health condition under control. She therefore advised all living with this condition not to give up. We are going to use uh, Martin's project to inspire people with bleeding blood and bleeding disorders and then we uh, we continue to appeal to our donors especially the support that we are getting from the WFH that are giving us the emesismab and factor 8 we are very grateful and we are going to continue lobbying for more support with medicine to control his ailment Mr. Montando is now able to pursue his dream in agriculture he says he plans to productively make use of most of this 40 hectares piece of family land in Chongwe area, provided resources are made available. Ephraim Chiruba, ZNBC News. Ch Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe.